Hey guys, Basil Lowell from Grayson Hobby, and today we are going to show you how to bind the ET V2, ET 115, and V2 125 with that new receiver. Yeah, the AC 900 receiver that's a dual purpose receiver. We're going to go over a, a quick bind and how to set up for FreeSky. Right, so you guys who are familiar with the XM, it almost works the same as the XM, except X it has extra features on it. Um, that the XM does not. Right, so we got a lot of questions on our last video about binding and stuff like that because it's not a true XM FreeSky receiver. So here we're going to show you how to bind it, show you the different fail safes, and uh, yeah. All Anything right. else? That's it. Because it's a dual purpose receiver, it can go Fataba or FreeSky. Um, let's show you the proper way to bind this sucker um, and get you going. So there's two things to set up in here. Um, one is the radio receiver type that's in this, okay. and the second thing is the failsafe type. So there's two different types of failsafe, and then two different receiver types. So when you say receiver type, what do you mean by that? One's for Fataba, one is so for FreeSky. This is like dual band, or dual protocols. Or yeah, exactly, okay. it's multi. Um, All right. So in order to bind this, uh, if you're new at this, guys, you may want to take the props off, etc., or find a way to secure the quad so it can't go in your face for safety. So in this case, what we're gonna do is um, put the sucker in bind mode, so, this is the fun part. You're gonna need to push the button and power it up at the same time. So there's a little gold button right here. Point to a little better right there. There's a gold button there. It's, um, what kind of pad is that you said earlier? It's a little membrane looking okay. pad thing. It's a momentary switch. So you push, you'll feel it click, and then you push the button, or push the button and plug it in, and you'll see it flashing. Okay, so flashing means it's in bind mode? Yeah, and you may want a helping hand for that one. Okay. All right, so once we got in flashing mode there, um, then we're going to set up a radio in um, D16 mode and I'm going to set up as 16 channels and then I'm going to go to bind. Okay. So all I'm going to do is hit bind and you'll see once it starts beeping. That eventually goes <laughs> that solid. That took a long time. Yeah, that did actually. All right, and now I'm going to cancel the bind. Or I'm going to stop the binding on the radio by pushing the button again. Now we got the green light. The green light is indicating bind. Um, or signal. The, yeah, it, it's it's communicating. That means that it is linked. It's paired like a Bluetooth. So now what we're gonna check is the actual fail safe option here. When you power the receiver, it's gonna do a series of blinks. The first one is gonna tell you if it's Fataba or FreeSky by being a red or green LED. The second one, the second blink is either gonna be green or red indicating if it's in fail safe mode one or two, which we'll go over that in a second. And the third blink, which was the solid blink, or I guess the solid light at the end, will be either green or red. Green if it's bound and paired with an active radio, or red if it has no signal being received. Gotcha. So what we're looking for in this case, we're probably going to set up to where we have um, green, green, well, green. So that, <laughs> that's what we're looking for. So we got green, green. 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 And green, solid green. Yay. The red failsafe mode and the green failsafe. The red failsafe is mode one failsafe. So okay. say you're flying around like this and all of a sudden you lose a signal, it's gonna mimic this on these positions no on neutral. the quad. So, so the receiver is gonna say, hey, this is the last command to send to it. Now note that we did discover that it would pulse the motor real fast, real quick when it hit failsafe. Yeah. Um, so the other failsafe mode um, is the green light. The green light is failsafe mode two. What the green light failsafe mode two is, it uses whatever beta flight setup for, for um, yes. failsafe. So uh, typically it's a couple seconds uh, or a fraction of a second or so of low throttle and then disarmed. Right. It's the land mode. Um, so if you want to set up, if you're familiar with setting up beta flight and failsafe mode, the factory default does work okay for this. Um, if you want to get fancy, if you have a certain way you want to set up failsafe, et cetera, then that's what you want to use is the green mode. If you don't know anything at all about it and you're not really sure, you could use the red one. Um, I haven't set up the factory defaults on Betaflight and I'm still setting up with the green on this one and it works perfectly fine. All right, let's show everybody what that pulsing does and so we can show. So, well, we got to put it in the first. Okay, so let's just show them how to, how to change modes. All right, so to change the failsafe, once it's bound, you're gonna have it on and you're gonna push and hold the button for about three seconds till light goes out and then we'll come back up, let go of the button. And that just changed from green to red. So now we're in green and if we go here, if we plug it in, you'll see green, red, then the solid light green. green. Okay, so that All means right. now we're in the red yes. fail safe mode. So that's fail safe mode one. All right, um, so let's, let's see what that, let's show everybody what that does here. Right. Yeah. So I will hold. So basically. You got it. Let's say we're sitting there spooling, we're flying, you got it here and we lose radio. Radio's off? 
you hear it. Real quick yeah. little burst. Whoa, I don't like that. So fast, it doesn't really do anything. Turn it back on. So, you, so if you let's say you fall, now you're falling back into range. You fall into the atmosphere. And, and we're back to flying. Yeah. So you do so recover. So everything recovers like it was. Right, so you do rec you can recover so, if you hit fail safe. Yeah, basically if you determine you're flying and all of a sudden does weird stuff and comes back, that could be because you're actually hitting fail safe. You don't know because there's no RSSI on this receiver. Um, but that's probably what you're hitting. So let's change it back. Now, if you want to confirm that, say you're having problems, you want to confirm that, you could always try changing the fail safe to the second one. So hit the three button, hold the button for three seconds. And Blinks, then we're going to go green. Let go. All right, so this is going to be the second fail safe. Okay, so we're gonna arm. Let's just put an air mode so you guys can see that. Now we're losing signal and radio's off, going into failsafe. Hear the motor slow down, and then they shut off. So they slow down. Yeah, it's that's the landing in beta flight. Okay. That's the default beta flight to where it goes into what they call land mode. Basically, it's lowering the RPM and bringing it softly down so it shouldn't just fall out of the sky. So, okay. Um, so is there a better one? Is there a worse one? Either one does the job of disarming the motors. Right, so now, yeah. one thing I will say here is, you notice I, I have the radio back and I do not have control. With the second failsafe, I have to disarm and arm again. Hmm, interesting. Well, that's because it hit failsafe. Right, but that's so, so... now I have to command a reset. Okay, command reset is how? Or disarm? By disarming, letting okay. it sit, and then resetting. Right. Now, the downside of that is, say, in, the, in this mode, if you don't have ARM 180 on, say you crash in a tree and it's sitting like this in a tree and it you lost signal and it's sitting in a tree like this, you're not going to be able to arm it again. Oh. So you might get stuck in the tree. Granted, if you're upside down in a tree, you probably won't get it out anyway by throttling it out. But, but you, can, you couldn't even hear it though. If you couldn't arm, you couldn't do anything unless you set up your beeper, obviously, and all that. Oh, the beeper yeah. will still work, but you won't be able to okay. arm. There now there is ways to get around that, recentering the gyro upside down and. That's a whole other story. We're not talk about that. Basically, if you know how to set up beta flight and you're more familiar with it, the second one will probably be better because you can more fine tune the fail safe settings and in and out of it. Um, if you don't, then the first one will work, but just know that it will lose signal and fall out of the sky. All right, guys, there it is, short and sweet, how to bind and the fail safes and stuff. Yep, so now not only did we explain how to set the, uh, bind it and set the fail safes, we showed you which. Uh, we talked about which failsafe to choose. We also showed you what an example of how they work out of the box with both mode one and mode two failsafe. Um, so hopefully that guy gets you guys going on that and you can determine which one that you want to use for your personal quad. All right, and you just remember the radio setup, we'll link it up there, link it down there, how to set the radio. Same exact procedure as the V1. So if you see a picture of the V1, um, the ET125 V1 or 115 V1, same radio setup. Yeah, so you can use the exact same, the tutorial that we did for the QX7 um, for the V1 to set up the V2, your initial radio setup. Uh, for those of you running Spectrum, as far as binding, it's the same receiver they're using in the version two as the version one. So you can use that tutorial as it's well. Same thing, right. So and basically, for, again, they just took the best and made it better. Right, and for those who already have the V1 and bought the V2, no need to do that whole setup again. What do you do? You can copy, copy your model. Copy and the model. Assign it as a new uh, Then you can receiver. find it and that'd be it, right? Yep. So simple as that. All right, guys, hope you uh, enjoyed it. Comment below, all that good stuff. Let us know what you think. If you have any problems, post them below, and then we'll hopefully review them next time. Yeah.